Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. So what we have here, is, well this is the Porsche 911 Carrera 4S that I completed last time. This is the other one that was sitting there not completed and it's now done. So these are both built essentially the same way except the factory color on this one is black. I left it black. Uh, that factory color on that one was red so naturally I left it that way. Now this car had slightly less mileage than that one and the value of the black one is 20, uh, 253000 and the value of the red one is 252000 so since the difference is negligible I'm going to sell this one going to keep that one, which means it's going to go into the parking for now. Hopefully there will be, hopefully they'll update that. I keep, I keep asking on the Steam forums, but we'll see what happens. So I don't have anything lined up to do at the moment, so let's see if we can find something. Okay, so here we are, and that's actually not a position I've seen a car in before. I think this is the Delray Imperator, or it's, but it was Delray before, but it's Echoes now. This is the one that's the uh, vanilla game, like Challenger Hellcat. That's the Takumi, yeah, Toyota Corolla. What else is there? Uh, this is one of the little ones. Sakura Yaro. I don't think I've ever done that car before. It's the first time in a while I've come in here and there's been three cars right off the bat. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I actually would really like to find either a Ribson Starline, which is essentially a R34 Skyline, or a Sakura Moon, which is a uh, Toyota Supra. That's a Bolt Reptilia. A really terrible one. And this is not the supercharged one. Yeah, it's just the standard one. Wait. V8 supercharged. So I guess it is the supercharged reptil reptilia. There's something else. What's that? Now that... That's a that's a mini. <laughs> Griffin Tyro. That's a mini if I ever saw one. Okay. The last few junkyards I have been to have been disappointing, but this one is brimming with stuff. It's just not anything that I actually want. That's a Atlanta. Uh, this is the FMV Panther Mark II. That's actually a really good car. Yeah, that's actually a really good car to do. What else? No Paganis, unfortunately. I think I just saw something through the cracks there. I missed you. This is the uh, Bolt Cape Mark 7. This is the Caprice, Chevy Caprice Classic. This is the body style from the 90s where they made it look like a melted bar of soap. Um, do, do, do. I think I'm going to buy two of these. Because I have done this and I know it builds out nicely. That wasn't what I meant to do. And that's not it either. Dang it. Eleven thousand for this car. said it was the FMV Panther Mark II Performance. That's interesting. I don't think I'd noticed that before. I'm going to buy that Echos Imperator over there. Make sure that there's nothing still sneaking around in here in the cracks. 
I don't think I've actually done one of these cars myself yet. I did one of these for a uh, customer order. Haven't done one of these at all, though. 10000 for this car. Okay, let's get out of... You know, I wanted to say... I have 24, 24 million dollars right now. I actually kind of regret having done that McLaren F1. Because it... I was making money. But I was still having to be careful, you know? I mean, I was up there above three... Up there above three million, I think. And, uh... No, not even that much. But I was consistently making money. Even with the cars that I kept. And that one McLaren has, like, made me financially free to do whatever. Which is really kind of... I really kind of feel conflicted about having done that. Okay, and I want to take a quick look at the auctions, just for the fun of it. Okay, and we'll see if there's anything in here. There's a Zonda Revolution. 50, 55,000. Five stars, even. Um... Bolt Supernova, I don't think I've seen before. Sakura Supra, that's the, uh... That's the Supra. That's, it's not the moon. That's, that's the Supra. But I'd prefer to buy them from the salvage auction. There's another one. And... There's another Pagani. $102,000 for that one. And... There's a Morena Bizzarini. Let's see if there's anything in the salvage auctions. Jaguar XJ2200... Uh, XJ220. I keep wanting to say 2200. There's a Supa. And that's not bad. Carrera 4S. Jaguar XJS. Auto Tudor Leventino. That's an electric car. It's a 370Z. Not much in here. I think, though, since I wanted to do one of these... I wanted to do one of these, and this is not a bad way to get one. Starting price 58. Let's see what it goes to. Jeez. Estimated value twenty five thousand. Paid twenty seven thousand. This is why, man, I don't like this style. I don't like the auctions. Let's get out of here. I would really like to buy one of those Paganis, but I don't want to pay the full auction price for it. Okay, so what do we want to do? I think I actually want to do this car. Cause this is this this pretty much is all going to be stuff that's sold. You are currently at ninety one hundred. We're down thirteen. Okay, so start as usual by clearing off the body, of which there is very little on here, it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and weld it up. I think 
this car is going to look pretty good when it's done. not know why I have four brake pads. Clearly I bought some extras. Whoops, whoops. There we go. It's always nice to be able to get a full 
set of performance parts from front to back on the exhaust because sometimes you can't get the front pipes if it's like a front pipe V8A or something they don't have those but this one is going to be this is going to be stocked up from front to back So I have the front bumper and the I have the front bumper and the left fenders. I need everything else. Hopefully we will get the Dodge DLC back that has the Challenger Hellcat in it. Which is uh cause this is clearly just this is clearly an analogue for that. Hmm, not bad. Up to thirty seven K now. That, though, that I like. bushings in this thing I just noticed. I don't think it's even connected on the other side, is it? No, it's not. You are still hooked up though. I can't see it. There we go. You can sure tell it's a junkyard car with all the frozen bolts.
there's a lot of stuff missing here. Okay, almost everything down. Okay, let's dismount these tires and see if we can reuse any of these rims. Get those shocks while I'm at it. I guess I did. I think that's a lot of it. Are there, oh, I in the wrong place. So there's there's going to be eight of these. And eight, eight full-size bushings for the rear, and then like two, four, six, eight for the front.
So that's all for the rear, and then because there's no upper suspension arm, there's four in the cross member, four more in the lower suspension arm, so eight more. it down. There's a lot on here. in this car is way more complicated than it used to be. No one has rocker arms. So messed up I keep I didn't see that rocker arm there. This is a Hemi engine. Those are V8OHVC. Those are Hemi pistons. What is still on there? Oh, it's the camshaft. Well, that's new. HVC. That's interesting. Let's see, 16 of these. It's 
So that water pump is toast. That head is toast. That head cover is toast. Now I vaguely remember being able to repair push rods occasionally, so I'm going to try it. Okay, so this is the rest of this stuff. I think I just... which one did I just buy? A. And this, I think there's going to be eight of them. I actually don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Wrecked uh, one of the rims. Okay, so these are not repairable, obviously. Gotta see if there's a performance version of that camshaft. There is not. Oops.
looking like more of an, it's looking like an engine now. When before it, it just looked like total garbage. So the plugs are going to be tucked in under there. The way those things are all slanted, that's kind of weird. I'm not sure if that intake manifold was repaired or not. That wasn't on the car, that arm. And I don't think that that's in here. It's not. So we might actually have one. Yeah, we repaired the original. feel like they have adapted a lot of I mean they clearly adopted the adapted the Pagani V12 engines to a base game engine and this is I mean this is the 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 engine that's that was in the Dodge DLC for the Challenger Hellcat was more complex and it had its own parts and I feel like that's what this is it's a, an adaptation of that um, Dodge engine to the base game. And a, no, that's going to be a roller A right there. So now for the fun part. So we're going to need one more of those head covers for the other side because there was only one on this side. I like that though, that's a cool look.
Okay. That looks like it's finished. Here is where we start to find out what we don't have. Yeah, only one of those lower suspension arms. I didn't buy the brake discs. I really should paint the calipers for here for this, but I'm not going to. Just in the interest of uh, saving a little bit of time. still have to figure out what I have for wheels. There were only two to begin with and I broke one of them. Whoops. How did that get by me? Which means I'm also going to need two of these. We have those. Looks like I only have one of them. And only one of them.
Okay, so what do I have for wheels? And actually, it'd be a good time to get rid of the junk. $438 for that transmission rebuilt. And the wheels are all the same size. 245, 40, 20. Rim Classic 420. Okay, let's go get those wheels chromed out and then we will be done. I think it's going to be a good looking wheel on this car. And while I was doing that, it occurred to me that I am going to need a starter. That one was as far away as it could be. It was literally 180 degrees away. For a second, I was like, what the hell is that? And then I realized. What the hell am I doing? It looks pretty good in there. This is my favorite part, you know, when it's 
when it's totally finished and all the all the rust is gone and I have missed something. Oh, it's the tires from the other side. Had me worried there for a second. Just got to get the fluids into it and then we can align it and test it and get it the hell out of here. I think this thing has every kind of fluid, too. Let's see. Washer, power steering, coolant, oil, and brake fluid. That should be everything. So now we should be able to move it and get the alignment straight. Yeah, it really looks good. I'm really happy with this color. It uh, looks much better in metallic. Okay, that's all set. I'm liking this more and more. The more I look at it, this deep this deep gunmetal gray is really really good looking. So 466, I bet it's going to I bet it's going to crack. Well, no. I was just I was just gonna say I bet it's gonna crack a thousand, but I don't think it will. Because let's see, twelve, thirteen, nine hundred and thirty-two would be a hundred percent increase. I don't think it's gonna go that high. Seven hundred and sixty-nine, uh, three hundred horsepower beyond what it had, though. Okay, then uh, move you to there. And we'll move that Panther there. And now we're outside. So this is a base game car. It's not as interesting as the DLC cars or a mod. But uh, we're going to drive it. I, you know what? I should have put a different steering wheel on it. That looks kind of... That looks kind of terrible. Oh, dear. Car. 
And here we are. Let's see what it's got under the hood. So it hit 230, but it was still accelerating when it went off the end, so it wasn't done. I need a longer track, a longer straight line track for cars like this. I keep hoping I'll get over the fence there, but it hasn't happened yet. Alright, 230 miles an hour, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Okay, so the only question remaining now is how much is this car worth? And it's got 102,000 miles on it. We. That is... Okay, that's kind of disappointing. 121,000 is kind of... Yeah, definitely not what I was hoping for. God, I think those two... I think the, the Porsche was $253,000? Gotta take a beauty shot of this car before I forget. And let's get rid of it. Alright, and we're not even back. <laughs> we were at 25 million and we've dropped a bit, so we have to, I guess, try to get back above that and keep trending upward. Didn't think I gained a level either, no. Still two skill things left from filling out the tree. Alright, so that'll wrap this one up. Um, I don't know what we'll do next time, but we will do something. So, if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you again here for the next whatever it is we do here. So on that note, bye for now.